right past her knee. You see that happen. Go. Okay. How crazy are you this morning? Go higher. The usual. Go higher. All right. Somewhere between what he did first and what he did now is what we'd like to see you do. Okay. So do a couple of the get out of the way and make room for somebody else. That's just basic. All in practice. Couple more, let's go. Good one, Mr. Pros. Oh, he oh, oh, kept the hand in contact. Okay. Okay, it's hard enough to get that. Great. There we go. The rest of you don't have to get that dramatic. You don't have to look at dramatic.
just should move that into your karate. Because your, your karate has all kinds of throws. You saw it last time, did a bunch of little throws. Okay, we, we, we got there a little more violently, but it's the same thing. Okay. So that's the correct way to do a sotokari. <coughs> that is clearly the judo sotokari. Now, we have another throw that we really need to look at. Um, are you guys familiar with the eight? The Jokyo? You guys are going to have to describe this as you watch it closely. One more. Yeah, you saw it bounces. Okay, so what are, what are our parts of the throw? Okay, and what are the eight things that we have to do to make that happen? Attacking arm, driving arm, right? Driving leg, attacking leg. Some of these are not so clear in the throw. Some of these get a little blurred. But essentially, <coughs> we have this, 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 these two parts of our body, and this. Right? That's pretty much how we cut our body up. So now, those are all the parts that have to have a use on each throw. Some have more primary use. Sometimes it's even throughout the throw. Right? Sometimes two parts might be doing the same thing. So. Let's see how he's going to set that up and use all those different things to make this throw work. Technically, it's not a... Sorry. You grab the belt. Mm. Oh, I saw Todd do that. That's a different throw when you grab the belt. I know, it's not my fault. It's just what they call it. Okay, let's do that again. That wasn't what it was pretty good. Let's do it again. <coughs> Well, that was kind of interesting. Okay. But uh, you're not going to become a judo master with that throw. It was a nice throw. Why was it not a ghost? What was the off balancing? What did he do to off balance the person? Sideways, so I can demonstrate so I most people can see. How do I have balance? I'm going to use one arm. This is all straight down. But you got to get your feet inside his feet. You see what we're trying to do? So that as I'm leaning forward, if I bump him back, then I don't I screw the throw up. All right? As I'm leaning forward and I'm here, you see, he should feel that. So as I come around his back and I'm getting my feet in, he needs to feel that forward action. I twisted my shoulders more. Feel a difference? <laughs> Did you catch that? With much more twist in my body, the impact is tremendously more. Okay? We've got a few more seconds and we need to go on to a different throw. Hey.